a very good day to all of you. This is very much to be. And once again, welcome to our channel. I'm your host, Very Mokobi. And today I'm joined by our guest. Uh, can you briefly introduce yourself to our viewers? Thank you. What's your name again? Uh, very Lomogi. Very Lomogi. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, my viewers, I'm Colonel Domolo. I'm the prophet of God and the founder of Western Embassy, Kenya, and also South Africa, Zimbabwe, and Zambia, and globally. Yes. So, can you tell our viewers what is the greatest investment someone can make? Can make the greater investment that uh, a person can make in this world. Now, many times people look at investment in different ways. Yes. There are people that think that maybe building a road or uh, doing some serious investment that is a legacy. Uh, yes, it's very important to the person who's in the family, but uh, to me, I've, been, I've traveled over 20 countries. And I've come to realize that uh, the only investment that you can leave behind yes. it is when you invest in people. So how exactly can you invest in people? You can invest in people in two dimensions. You can invest in them on how you empower them by your words. You can invest in people by giving them the, the, the future of tomorrow. In other words, for example, if you are having a dream, of becoming uh, a designer and uh, your situation or where you come from you're not able to have that and in my eye from in the situation i'll be I'm in the situation whereby i can be able to give you that money to do that course of design that is a great investment because it means i don't even have one person i've helped you i've helped your husband i've helped your children and your grand grandchildren Everybody that will be feeding or eating or having a cloth to wear, having a school fee, they are eating from that investment that I do. I give you whether I just invest in you the one five thousand just for that course. But when you begin that course, that course can bring millions of money. So it can really create a big impact in the life of a person. It doesn't matter how big it is or how small it is. All it matters that you invest in a person by giving into their lives and also by empowering them the words of this. Life. So. As an apostle, yes. How have you tried to make an investment in other people's lives? Yeah, uh, uh, I've, I've I've empowered many people, young, old, and many times there are people that I've met. Some of them, their life were very bad. Some of them were into drugs, were into alcohol, and some of them, right now, since speaking to you, they're doing the businesses, and some of them are pastors because I, I show them the love of God. One thing that I'm uh, making us not to invest in people or not to transform people is uh, every time we look at people, we judge them. People okay. love judging people. And when you begin to judge somebody, even if there's something good they can do, they will not feel like doing it because that's how you have been leveled. You have limited not to do that by judging. So I've, I've told people that one thing that Jesus said, he said that come to me as you are. And the moment you accept that this is my past and this is what I want to do, and there's something good about me, and you begin to work on yourself, you can become a better person. So I, I work on, the, I empower them by changing their mind. Secondly, by seeing what can I contribute in your life as a man of God. Believe about the preaching, believe about the prayer that I may pray to you, but what can I do to you as a human being that one day when I'm not around, you can point the finger that. I met this person when I was like this, but when he left me, he left me in this way. For example, when I come to Kenya, I was in South Africa all my life, and uh, this is now my three years being in this country. When I come to Migori, there are kids, I don't know them even up now, I don't know their parents, they are not even know their families. By the grace of God, not because they are, there's a lot of money, I managed to open for them shops. That's great. Yes. How does it exactly feel when you get to change something? It feels so good, it's so nice. In fact, the moment I don't change the life of a person my day, I feel, I feel like there's something wrong with me. I mean, like I'm saying, but when somebody's uh, rejoicing or happy because I've contributed, it made me happy. So, is there somewhere in your street, like a physical location? Yes, I'm located. Yeah, for now I'm in Migori, uh, opposite Ruby's Ruby petrol station. 
In the same time, I'm in Kisi, uh, Darujambili. We're having Tuesday service from 8 morning to 3 in the evening. And also we're planning to have one of the dangerous and powerful services in Rodi every Saturday from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. every Saturday. And in case someone wants to reach you through an online platform or a contact, yes. can you please share with our viewers your contacts? Yeah, you can reach me out through Arena TV in Facebook page, at the same time in, uh, in YouTube. And also you can reach me in my Facebook page, Ronaldo Molo. At the same time, you can uh, also reach me in uh, TikTok, Prophet Ronaldo Molo. If you go to those platforms, you'll meet me there. And also there are good videos there that can change your life. Thank you. Thank you all for staying tuned. This is very much for you. Until next time, please stay tuned.